Yeah, it was pretty, was, uh, that was pretty really incredible. incredible. And the, 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 the blue, blue collar type mentality that, that coach long, you know, not only preached, but he lived that mentality. I mean, that, that's a type of team that went into that game in 2005. And that's the type of players we had um, that were, you know, the really big reason why we're all so close still is that, I mean, it was, it was going to war and we were, we were blue collar guys that um, worked our asses off to get where we did. And, and, you know, it was a pretty incredible opportunity to go into 80,000 fan stadium and get an upset. It's pretty cool. I was cool. telling someone, I was telling a family the other day that, you know, they talk about facilities and this and that. You look at you and them now, man, everything is amazing. I was like, basically, we were there. I felt like we were in a sandlot. But you know what? A lot of us, especially Cole, Cole was one of the top quarterbacks in the country when he came out of high school. I kind of wish he would have went somewhere else because I got stuck living with him. But <laughs> the thing is, before he got there, Dontrell could have went in. Best anywhere. thing that ever happened to you. Oh, my God. Um, we all had a lot of offers, but it's just that that 505 pride, man. And I know 575 now, but it's always about that 505 pride. And, you know, it, it means something truly different whenever you're representing your home state. And to go there, and Cole hit it best. It was the same way I described Philly fans. They were blue-collar guys. You know, they just wanted to stay. They enjoyed the players that showed up to work, and that's what Coach Long recruited. He didn't promise you anything. Oh, wait a he didn't give you fake promises. When he recruited you, Coach Long said, look, I don't care if you're a walk-on, if you're a scholarship, a five-star recruit, or a no-star recruit. If you come here and work, you will play. I mean, and so I, I tell people a lot of time about Ryan Cook. Came there as a walk-on. Doing it yeah. being a second-round draft pick. If you work, the program is going to work with you. And to be honest, I called Coach Gons. I talked to Lindsmeyer talk to coach long when they announced that coach gone was coming back i was like you and him football's back to where it, it needs absolutely to be. you know there's I, so many I, I of our, agree more. there's so many of our in-state kids that get promised so much and then they go these other places and they don't they forget that those big time programs those big name programs you may be a five-star recruit but when you go in there's more five-star recruits coming if, nowadays if you work you could be found anywhere with social media there's more highlight tapes of these kids in high school than there is in my entire NFL career. If you work, you can be found. So you need to go somewhere where you give yourself the best opportunity, not where it's where you're told it's given to you. And then I always tell everybody about Bobby Newcomb. You know, <clears throat> they were going to build the offense at UNM around him the same way they built the defense around Erlacher. Bobby went to Nebraska because they promised he was going to get playing time. They had Scott Frost. They said when he's gone, I think Scott was a junior or a senior. They're like, hey, you're the incumbent starter. You got the spot. And lo and behold, Eric Crouch comes in. Bobby, yeah. never gets to, Bobby never gets to play at quarterback. They try to move him to receiver, but it's too late. So you need to go somewhere where you can dig in, get your mind right, be willing to do the work, and go at it. And go out there and work for it, where you give your chance to, yourself a chance to play. Not where it's prom or told that it's going to be given to you or you think that it's going to be given to you, where you got to go earn it. So, like, I was telling the family about Cole. I was like, this dude could have went anywhere. But that, that New Mexico pride sinks in with him. It's the way he was raised, his, his parents, his grandparents. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just who he is. And that's, that's, that encompasses the, in a, the entire program, man. We come to work. That's what you, you know, I mean, it, it was so special to play here in New Mexico, but I'll never forget – on my recruiting trip, man, I mean, you were my host, obviously, and you and Speeds Quiet, and Montreal. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I mean, th there, was, there was a group, a core group of, of New Mexico guys that on my recruiting trip all came together and said, like, we're doing something special here. We're trying, I mean, every single person around me had gotten offers other places. You could have gone to Minnesota and, you know, I mean, everyone had play other places to go. And staying in state and trying to do something special was, was the plan. And so, you know, um, had some decent seasons, but to be able to, to have some big wins like Missouri 2005, uh, I'll never forget that experience of a lifetime. And I mean, it's, it's those types of games that made um, 
college football, what it is for me, I know what it is for you and a lot of other guys is um, something that we'll never, ever forget. You know? Those um, 400 that was because, fans. Yeah, it's because Those we decided to stay in state. It was awesome. We, we didn't go somewhere where we just became a number. It meant more to yeah. that state seeing their top guys stay in state. And the support, I mean, still from the Red Menace, things like that. Yeah. I go back to New Mexico and it's still, you know, you know, you still get that love. And that's what it's about. And there's a whole different kind of kind of respect you get when you decide to play, play where you grew up and represent where you grew up. And yeah. you may not go get the 12 win seasons, but I'll tell you this, when you go into at, when you play for UNM, every one of those every one of those wins means something because you know nothing is just given. You're not expected to go wallop, wallop anybody up and down the field. I remember when we went to Utah. Utah was supposed to kick our butt. Man, we had 600 yards of offense <laughs> against a Utah team that was BCS because we right, won number seven, more. I think. Oh, yeah. no, they were, th th that year they were 22. They were seven when they came into Albuquerque. The next year, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, is that things like that, it feels good to be the guy that, you know, everyone counts you out, you know, the underdog. And when you well, go in, especially when you go in someone's house and do it. Yeah, like and you, you know what? I was telling Frank earlier, um, you know what's so cool is having people come up, you know, what is it, 15 years down the road and be like, ah, I'll never forget that Missouri game. Yeah. Right? I'll never forget that game. You guys went up to Missouri and, and, and shut their fans up and made a name for New Mexico football. And I was, man, I was jacked that you guys decided to pick this game as a classic because – um, it's certainly a classic in my mind, and what it's pretty cool because a lot of fans remember it, and so it's pretty special to them too. Let me ask so, you this, Cole, because you had sent me the Texas Tech game. What did you do the night I sent you the Missouri game? I sent it to him at like <laughs> 10, 11 o'clock his time. Cause I was like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, you sent it to me at like 10, 30 at night, and I sat on the, I sat on the couch to one in the morning and watched it on my phone the entire game on my phone, man. I hadn't seen that game since we since we watched film on it, right? Yeah, same thing. That's why I'm, I'm sorry I sent it to you so late. But, yeah, man, that's what it's about, dude. Like, that, those type yeah, of memories, man. knowing. It's not the games when you go beat someone you're supposed to beat. And it, it, it's about the games when you go in. And, like we said, playing in New Mexico back then, we weren't supposed to win many at all. And a lot of yeah. those games we weren't supposed to win, we did. We should have. We, yeah. we barely lost to uh, Washington State, remember? That was a game. We weren't – I remember that dude, their All-American linebacker that had the club. Remember yep. he had broke his wrist? So he was just clubbing everybody. We barely lost to them. You know, it's – we had – people talk about elite programs. You get the right guys and you get the – you especially get the in-state talent to start staying there. Yeah. They will understand they will play a different way. Without a doubt. that game up one extra level. Without a doubt. playing for their family and their friends and where they grew up. Without a doubt, man. All said.